Hi, welcome back to more coverage from CES 2013. I'm in the Sapphire Suite and with Bill Donnelly. Bill, AMD's not doing too much new at CES 2013 from what we can see, so that must be a tough sell from you guys. So what's new for the show? Okay, so yes, you're right. I mean, there's no new graphics introductions uh, in the next few weeks that we're aware of, but uh, we have been rolling out some additional spins and models based on our existing products. Um, what, one of the things we're showing at the show is uh, extension to our mini PC family. Uh, we successfully launched the Edge series last year, and just before Christmas we announced new models based on AMD's Trinity APUs, the A8 and the A4. And at the show we're showing for the first time a barebone version of the, of the VS series, which allows our end users to connect um, their own memory and SSDs if they prefer, rather than the regular configuration. Yeah, so just to, to make it clear, this is the exact same thing you can buy anyway, but without the bundled SSD or regular hard drive and memory. Yeah, we ship the standard models with just 4 gig of RAM and a regular spinning hard drive, but we've had requests for people who want to get better performance out of the APU by using the SSD and putting larger memory in there maybe to run more applications at the same time. So uh, we, we opened it up to being what we call a barebone configuration, which is supplied without memory at all, mm. and they can just drop in, literally drop in, their own um, SO DIMMs and SSD or hard drive of choice. And how much cheaper is this than the pre-packaged version? Um, I'm not sure of end user price, but it's about $100 less on the list price, so that's the kind of difference you'd expect to see, I think. And you've also got a different model with Intel technology coming out. Yeah, we're, we're, the um, HD series is very popular. It's our very small format Edge PC. Um, and we originally had an Intel Atom-based version, and that's really being phased out now. So we'll be introducing later this month a version based on Intel's new mobile Celeron device. So people who have a preference for Intel-based or have a software base for Intel will be able to still choose our designer PC. And can you talk about pricing for that one? I don't have it yet, but I would think it would be on a par with our existing HD3 model, which is based on AMD's E450. Right. And at the top of this video, I said that AMD's not doing too much new, but you guys have taken a slight twist on a, a fairly high-end card. It's down there, so if you grab it, this is the 7870 XT, or the 7930s, I like to call it. Well, yes, um, AMD, for some reason, decided to, that uh, it's actually the chipset is the Tahiti chipset that we're more familiar with, the 7900 family, uh, but because it's got some cut down features and they're calling it the Tahiti LE they've asked us to brand this to 7970 so I'm sorry the 7870 see, see, I'm I, see, I, see how confusing that is <laughs> I'm doing it now it's a 7870 family part so to distinguish it from the ones that are based on the Pitcairn chipset we're actually calling it the XT and in our model of the 7870 XT we have implemented the AMD power tune boost so it will actually do the elevated clock speeds when the appropriate gaming or whatever demands going on. Yeah, so that's um, Tahiti features on a Pitcairn named GPU. Um, or a Pitcairn named card, but the, the GPU is Tahiti LE, yes. I think I've used know exactly what it is. <laughs> How much is this one? Is, is it available now? It's going to fall in between the existing 78... 70 OC model and the 7950 models so it's going to be around 200 pounds okay. and Bill because we're friends can you tell us anything about the 8000 series um, only that we don't have any yet okay thanks very much <laughs> we're all waiting for the 8000 series from AMD but up until then Sapphire's got a pretty good card for under 200 pounds